Hello, my name is Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net and welcome to the jazzguitarlessons.net vlog for August 9th, 2017. So on the menu today, we have a life update, a musical update, and what's inside of that little magic box, which I'll hide the title from. So you're in for a ride, stay tuned. So welcome to the Jazz Guitar Vlog. So of course, this is a vlog where I share my personal life and musical life updates, not so much lessons. So for today, you saw this little blue box. This is going to be for dessert. Stay tuned. I have a few demos I want to show you with this great TC Electronics pedal. Uh, first life update and uh, musical update. It's been a really long while since I shot vlogs because, you know, life happens. Um, summer happens too to a lot of people. Uh, sadly, I lost uh, some, someone very dear to me, a very close friend in the past time, which made me, you know, kind of take a step back from this entire life, take some time off. Uh, so I guess if you're subscribing to the newsletter, you probably heard about that too. Um, so strange times indeed. Uh, musically, there's a few things I wanted to update you on. Uh, first is that we're working on, if you've been following the website in 2017 and 2016, we have this improv and comping series. So we have Improv 101 uh, and 102 out. We have Improv 102 that's going to be, uh, 103, sorry, 103, coming up in uh, September. So it's in the works, we're almost done. And Comping 103 coming up in October. So stay tuned for those. Uh, regarding lessons, so this is the, the calm before the storm because we have this series of jazz guitar lessons which will be called hands-on jazz guitar. And hands-on is basically um, uh, one lick per episode. I, I talked, I discussed this briefly in another vlog and uh, you see this vlog, <laughs> just me, I, I need a haircut, I need a shave, it's just really open heart me talking to you, it's not a lesson. So the hands-on series will be much more polished with the sheet music, you know, video with play along right in the screen. So we're working on this to get the first issue out as soon as possible, perhaps this week um, while the other uh, stuff happens. So this is the musical and life update on my part. And then I want to take a few minutes to tell you about this guy. Guys, so for dessert, we have drum roll. TC Electronics Flashback 2, which I added to my uh, jazz guitar arsenal. Uh, I like a clean jazz guitar sound that's on the verge of cracking. So uh, I use the Blues Junior, my Fender here. I can touch it, but you can't see it on the screen. And I use, I kind of put the gain high, but not too high, so it distorts, but kind of drive the sound, right? Uh, really interesting thing, this, uh, my typical gear is this Holy Grail Plus reverb pedal because I like a wet sound. And personally, I always go, I'll show you, I always go between this super laser focused kind of modern bebop bluesish sound with very straight notes and I, I oscillate between this. Every couple of months I'll grab this guy and I'll be trying to sound like Ed Bickert or some modern version of I don't know, Mike Stern, or, you know, I, I go for these sustain and long ideas and use a lot of open strings and s sustain. So a wet sound is what I'm using for this. And guess what? <laughs> Colors match too. It's amazing. So uh, coming up is a demo of the Flashback 2, which uh, I received recently. And I think it's a perfect combination. I'm using it in the what's following the video alone straight in the amp. So I'm not using a reverb, so you can just hear the delay. There's tons of features on that, on that pedal. You can plug it uh, USB to go and edit your sounds. You see this here, but I'm a total slob and lazy guy, so I didn't plug it in yet, <laughs> but I have to do this. Uh, stereo, stereo in, stereo out, which is great. I only have one amp. I can't do the stereo, st stereo coupling. However, some of the great features is that you have a knob right here, right here, which you can decide which type of delay. So it can either be a quarter note, so note for note, dotted eight, or a quarter note plus dotted eight. And this works for any or all of the different functions. So coming in the next few minutes, I uh, did a little analog um, delay demo with some like open A major chords. Uh, and then I played a bit on a standard with the tape delay. And the tape delay I set to quarter notes. So you can hear ta 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 ta
what the pedal is giving me as my quarter note to play the song, which is a cool little thing to, I guess, beef up while you're doing even in a jazz context. Of course, in the demo, it's kind of in your face a little bit. Uh, if you were to play on a gig with a bass player, you could tweak this, but this added with a little bit of reverb is great because you get this trailing effect. Um, and you know, piano players get that kind of sound when they, they go in because it's like, it resonates in and of itself. So for guitarists, I like to set it a very low volume delay that trails for a little while is a great way to beef up your sound. And it's not reverb. So love that shit. Sorry. I really love, um, really, really love the, the sound of it. And I have to tell you a little bit about the function. So of course you click here, you activate the, the delay, the, the effect you've chosen. So you adjust the delay time, the amount of feedback you get and the level of your effect. And you select, of course, the function, but I'm gonna plug it in to show you. Plus you can use a nine volt, nine volt battery. So two, two last things I have to, to tell you about it. So first this is on, this is off. So far so good, right? But take a look at the depth of this, of this knob. And you're like, why, why would they do that? Well, here's the thing. This is an expression pedal. I didn't demo it because I'm not in full control of it yet. But the point is that you can press it and press it harder and then slowly let it go. You see that little green light, that little yellow light? The further you press, so you can, you can work with expression without an expression pedal. So I think this is probably the main feature of that pedal that I have yet to fully master to not look like a, like a fool on a YouTube video. And also the, the last thing that I say for dessert is that it's also a loop pedal. So you know this whole Boss uh, digital delay, the DD5 or DD7 had a, somewhat of a limited looping function. Well, you can do looping with that guy also. All right, so let's get on to the demo now for uh, this delay pedal. Hope you enjoy it and I will see you soon on jazzguitarlessons.net. Improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher. Take care.